Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an exciting review of two new products. Well, new for me, two new products from Clarins. So first off is the Everlasting Youth Liquid Foundation and this is in shade Nude 105. And then we are reviewing the primer, the SOS primer. So this is 00 which is lights, these two products. So let's first unbox them and have a look at the packaging. So the foundation is in a glass container. It is quite heavy which is great and it has Clarins written on the outside of the foundation bottle. It also has a metal cap and when you open it up it is a pump. Moving on to the primer, it is in a plastic container or plastic squeezy tube and then it has a pump on the end as well. Primer is meant to be color correcting and smooth on the skin so we're going to give that a go first followed by the foundation. So what I normally do with products like this is I do a few pumps on my hand and then I lightly massage the primer into my skin just tucking my hair behind my ears and just gently rubbing that primer in to reduce any pores on my face. So it smells nice and clean, which is great. And I'm just grabbing a tiny bit more for my forehead. So, so far I'm loving the primer sitting really nice on my skin. Here's a little up close. It's looking great so far. So we're going in with the Tarte brush. Um, this is one of the foundation brushes. I think this might be limited edition and this is from Sephora. So like usual I do a few pumps on the back of my wrist or hand. Should be enough. I do like quite a few pumps of foundation, that's just me. I like quite a thick foundation on my face. So I'm just taking some and doing dots on my skin. And then we're going to blend that in with the makeup brush. And then we're also going to go in with Beauty Blender after. As you can see, it is covering up my blemishes quite nicely, so it must be a full foundation like it does claim. And then of course I'm going to put concealer underneath my eyes because I have very dark under eyes, which is hereditary. And we're just going to take some more for my forehead and just bring that down. As you can see, it is very full coverage, which is awesome and what I love. It's so easy to apply and blends out so good. I might have actually put too much on the back of my hand to be honest, which is awesome. It's good to know for future. And then we're going to do some on my neck as well to blend that down. So I'm now going in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which is lightly damp. And I'm just going to pick up the rest of the product that's on the back of my hand. And we're going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I just prefer the look of a beauty blender for some reason. But I also love brushes too. And we're just going to bounce that around the skin. And just make sure I blended that out properly on my neck. So I'm so surprised with this foundation, it is really full coverage, I'm so shocked. I did not expect it to be this amazing on my skin, I love full coverage foundations, especially for the weekend. And that's the foundation now complete. As you can see up close it is very full covering. It covered my pimples pretty well which is pretty surprising normally I need concealer and even the under eyes it covered pretty good um, always go in with concealer though on top 
Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this foundation. What do you guys think? I think it looks really nice on my skin and I would actually highly recommend this as well. So just to show you guys again, these are the products that I used. The Foundation Everlasting Youth and it's also SPF 15 and then we use the SOS Primer. As you can tell, it has a little bit of a dewy finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup and then we'll come back and show you guys the finished look. So this is the final look, guys. I'm so happy with this makeup. And as you can tell, my foundation looks amazing. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this 